everyone, it's Miss Becky from the Glen Carbon Library here again with Bronte and with Owen. And we are already on week four of our STEM challenges. Have we been having a lot of fun with our STEM challenges? Yeah, they're all really fun. They're all amazing. Oh good, I'm glad you're enjoying them. What did you like about the last one we did with the, the leaf? I, I love plants. You love plants? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fun to see the bubbles looked really neat when they formed on the leaf. Yeah. Yeah, it was neat, wasn't it? It looked really pretty. Hopefully you guys got a chance to do that experiment and you had some nice sunny weather to set your bowl out in. What we discovered the day that we recorded the last one when it was very cloudy was that it didn't work, did it? How many hours did we wait to look again? Do you remember? It was a, like at least four. Yeah, we waited four hours. Did we see any bubbles on the, those leaves? Only like a few tiny ones. A few ones. tiny ones. It worked Two much better. Yeah, it worked much better in the sunlight the day before, didn't it? Yeah. So hopefully you got a chance to take some really good pictures of your leaves so we can see them because when it does work, it is beautiful. So this week, what we are going to be working on is marshmallow shooters. And the supplies that you need for this experiment are balloons, a pair of scissors, some plastic cups, any size will do. We have smaller ones here. You need some clear packing tape. I'm probably other tape would work, but this is a nice width and stickiness for holding on the balloon. Um, you need something to shoot. So we have some puff balls, and then we also have marshmallows to try out. So what you're going to end up with is a marshmallow shooter that works like that. It's pretty simple. Um, the first step in creating it is, let's see, let's choose a balloon. You guys have yours already? Mm -hmm. You're going to tie a knot into the balloon, into the end, without blowing it up first. So you want it nice and flat. You're going to tie your knot, and then you're going to just trim off the end where it would normally be blown up. You're going to trim off that bit of it. Okay, would you like me to do yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a little air in there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. It's right. not too much. Not too much. Okay, let's do yours. All right. The next step is to choose your plastic cup and you're going to trim off the bottom of the plastic cup. I've already done the one for these guys. And I'm going to work on this one to show you um, how I cut off the bottom so we can do it safely. If you guys want to, you can start putting your, take your end of your balloon and you want to put it over the bottom that we've cut off. Does that make sense? Do the best you can with it. Okay, I'll try. Okay, we're going to take our scissors. I find the best way to do this is to sort of focus on a corner of the circle and just cut off a little edge of it first to get yourself started. And then it's pretty easy to get the scissors in there and cut around. Is it tricky, guys? Yes. Yeah. Let's Can you help? I will. Of course I will. Okay. So there we go, we've got our bottom cut off. There we go. Let me let me try it with this one. I wonder if I didn't cut off enough of the edge. Yeah, I don't think it might or you might just need a little more force to see how I stretch it out like that. With can you see what I'm doing, Owen? I have all my fingers in there. See, I'm I, I, okay. I get it, but then it won't That's stick okay. at all. That's okay. So let me do it on mine. Okay, I've got it on mine. Now tearing a hole in it. Oh no, that oh yeah, that did that is a hole. We gotta start. Okay, there we go. We've got some tape. We've got some tape. I'm going to trim it off. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know what? We're going to try this. There we go. 
Okay, second piece of tape on. And we're gonna press that bit out so it sort of traps the balloon and the tape, okay? All right. Would you like to test that out for me? Mm -hmm. okay. So what should... So you hold this, you hold your cup like you're gonna drink out of it and pull on this. Okay, so give me something to shoot. We will in just a moment. First, we're gonna build Owens. How does that feel? Okay. Right around there. Put that balloon on. And then Is that holding for you, ladybug. on this side. Here we go. And we have our marshmallow shoe. We'll make sure the tape is nice and secure on our balloon. I think we're good. Okay. We're going to set my other one aside for now. Okay. So, everybody good? Can you hold it like that? Okay. Should we try shooting something? Okay. Let's start off with our puff balls first. Then we can do marshmallows, we can do marshmallows. and try to cap them and in our rounds. That is one of the games we get to play with this. Okay, what color puff ball would you like? I'll take a uh, green. Green. Owen, what would you like? A yellow. A yellow. Surprising. Oh, you got a red too. Okay. So one thing you want to be careful with with these is that they will go fly. Did you just shoot yours? They will go flying off. The first one that I tried when I shot it up, it hit the ceiling. I still haven't found it. I don't know where it went. Don't shoot them at Miss Amy. <laughs> you won't hurt Miss Amy. You got to give her some warning first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yes. So, one of the games. Okay, they've just gone crazy at this point. This is how this works. One of the games that you can play is you can line up everybody who has a shooter and you can see how far each of you can shoot it. Shoot it. it can be a game where you measure the distance that these things can go. Another fun one to play is to shoot it into the air and then see if you can catch it in the cup or if you're playing with marshmallows, you can see if you can catch it in your mouth. Another fun thing to do is to try objects with um, different weight or density and you can see if how far they'll go into the air. You can test out which items will go higher and you can finally see what you can put in your cup that finally <laughs> won't go up into the air at all. Um, okay, so these guys have obviously been displaying just how well these things work. Do they shoot really high? Yeah. They definitely high shoot really high. Down. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I tell you what, should we should we go outside and we can try shooting the marshmallows into the air? Does yeah. that sound good? Okay, let's try that out. One of the best parts of this experiment is that it's a great opportunity to get outside in the nice weather and try out some experiments, right? So we talked about doing distance shooting uh, where we all stand in a line and we shoot it to see how far each of ours goes. Do you want to try that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's try. Let's not aim for Miss Amy. Let's sort of shift to the side a little bit. Right over here. Okay. And let's all aim for the tree right there. Ready? On my count of three. One, two, three. Based on aiming for the tree, who won? You did. Good job. Okay. Let's get our puff balls again. We could be really scientific about this and get out our tape measure and tape how far they went, couldn't we? Yeah. We can do that at home. Okay, so another fun thing to try and do is to try and launch your puff ball as high as it will go. What did we watch getting launched yesterday? Do you remember? The rocket. The rocket, NASA. the spaceship that had the people on it, and it was so exciting. One of the things that they had to use to get out of the Earth's atmosphere was, do you remember the, the type of force that they use when they take off? 
I forget. That's okay. It's called acceleration. You have to have a lot of acceleration to get out of the Earth's atmosphere. So, should we try and launch our puff balls? Mm -hmm. Should we give it a countdown, three to one, like mm -hmm. we're taking off in a spaceship? Ready? All right. Should we say three, two, one, lift off? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, lift off. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Did we have enough acceleration to get outside of the Earth's atmosphere? No. No. The spaceship was going a lot faster, wasn't it, yesterday? Uh-huh. Yeah. These are just puff balls. And these are just puff balls. Yeah. They don't weigh a lot. It's just a simple shooter. It's just a simple shooter. We would need a lot of uh, a lot of propulsion to get out of the atmosphere. So, Like a million rubber bands within a tiny top. Something like that, yeah. So part of the game that we could play with these is to shoot them in the air and then see if we can catch them back in the cup. Do you remember the part of the spaceship that came down yesterday after it shot up into the atmosphere? I forget what it was called. I think, oh gosh, I remember the, the ship that caught it. Do you remember what that was called? And the bow. Love you. And the part that came down, I don't think that was called the dragon. What was up in the, the, the part of the ship that the space uh, astronauts was in, it's called the dragon. Uh -huh, That's that okay, we can look it up when we get home. But it was a very big deal that that part of the spaceship landed directly on the ship where they were planning for it to be. That was a very big deal. It is really hard to shoot something in the air and then catch it again, isn't it? So should we try that ourselves? Yes! All right, let's try it on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> you gotta shoot it straight up and see if you can catch it in your cup. Go ahead, Owen, let's see if you can do it. Oh, it landed over there. It's really hard, especially when what's happening right now outside. Is it breezy? Yeah. The wind is blowing. I'm going to see if I can do it. I almost you. did it. Nope, didn't catch it. Oh, oh. I almost did it. Almost. Okay. So you see how tricky that is, right? Oh, you can get Very big it, but you can't really. That's right. Okay. The other fun thing that you can do with these is not use puff balls, we can use marshmallows. marshmallows. And we can shoot the marshmallow into the air and see if you can catch it in your mouth. Uh, Do you think that's gonna be simple? No. No, it's gonna be tricky. Now, here's a rule. Let's remind the little ones, right? Who like to put things in their mouths. If a marshmallow falls on the ground. Do not eat it. Do not eat it. That is a gross marshmallow, right? Uh -huh. You can always get a new one and eat it. Here we go. Marshmallow one, marshmallow two. Okay, so one without the shooter. One without the shooter. Oh, we'll do, we'll do one at, without the shooter. Let's see if this one lands in your mouth first, okay? Okay, and we will be picking these up off the ground if they fall and throwing them away. Okay, ready? On the count of three, make sure you have your eyes on your marshmallow. One, two, three, shoot! <laughs> try one more time? Okay. Maybe don't shoot it so high in the air. Do you want to swap places with me? I think yours might have hit the tree. Okay, so make sure you have enough space. And ready? Let's count. Let's count down again. One, two, three. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just it's harder than it looks. Because sure. the sun is out. It's hard. Is that what makes it hard? We could try again at home. Okay. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna eat the dirty marshmallows. Here you go. You worked hard. Have a marshmallow. Have a marshmallow. Okay. Do you guys remember what we're gonna be doing next week for our stem chat? Chemical reactions with pennies. Okay, you said it with a marshmallow in your mouth. That's alright. Chemical reactions with pennies. So Join us next week and we will be doing, are we already up to week five? Week five? This is week four. This is week four, but next week will be week five. We'll be halfway through already, won't we? All right, join us next week and we will be doing chemical reactions with pennies. Bye.